Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy game compilation. This is episode 2 of season 1, which means it's covering the first game only. So, this is our second episode, Turn About Sisters. Get ready for bad voices. Now to add, now to, for me to act like I know how to per voice a woman. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, hey, Maya, uh, it's me. Mia, what's up? You have a card in a while. Sorry, I, 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 I can't voice act to save my life. I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, it's been nice. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Shark as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got you. So what is it this time? It's it's a clock. Oh God. A, a clock? Yeah, it's made to look like the statue. The thinker. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know where that statue. It tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl. No, no, you know I don't like anything. Ah, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking. It's not, it's not working. That's flame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry, I put some papers inside instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office at 9 to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good, like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. O okay, okay, we'll hit the usual drink. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting for you now. Conversation recorded, September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m., Faye and Co. offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Hey, it comes with being an offense attorney. Bang! Wow, I see right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, uh, you are not cogniferous of my background. We'll make fun of him s s sooner. We'll make fun of him for that later. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Oh, uh -huh. my dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for more things. Your eternal silence fell on Miss Faye. <gasps> Seems like a douche. Red, white, blue. Yes, 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 cool, huh, buddy? Now I'm just repeating speech from the Cub Scouts. I can't wait till case three and I have to deal with Edgeworth. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Van Cole offices. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister is coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that? Smell. Blood. Yeah. She's in her office. Move! Office! That smell. Blood. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! I just voice act. The greatest. Oh no. It's a scared little girl who's like 27. Who are you? Oh, okay. She kind of just fainted. A strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the went back to the, to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her finger. Then all too quickly it began to fade until finally she was cold. Chief, examine. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Uh. 
Right. I'd better call the police. Huh? That, that's funny. A few of the screws are in the serum machine. It looks like someone was halfway to taking it apart. Police! Please come quick! Right. What was that? Someone screaming from the window. Oh, you. I forgot you existed. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Oh. She's saying to a ledger book, everything is written in the chief's alternate hand. It's a small office, but makes a good bit of money. Surprisingly, the chief would never go with machines. About all she used this PC was for email. She picked this up to model some broad sale for practically nothing. Says the man with the ancient phone. Shards of glass are scattered on the floor. Should be. Chief, sorry to scare you. Yeah, please, she was struck another plan. She probably died instantly. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. There's some glass shards in this body. Huh? That we. Hmm. A piece of paper must have fallen from me at hand. What could it be? <gasps> a word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from the department store to the agent yesterday. And she added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Alright, well, let's go back. <gasps> that girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Did... Don't skip. Uh, excuse me, but who are you? It's, it's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya said. Maya said. Maya. Mia was writing this... <gasps> Maybe I should... Just... Aw. What happened? Excuse me, Shock. I don't want to say what happened. Uh, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I, I can't remember the place. But she was already dead. So, you were the chief's sister. I, I, I'm her young sister. And you were here visiting this late night. Yes. You should see what happened. Evidence. Yes. I, it was that clock. It was a finger. I know this is what we have to do. But I'm gonna feel really. Before Mia died, she wrote a message for his friend back in the seat. That, that, that's my name. Why, why, why would you. Please just calm down. I mean, why would you. Uh oh, now I've done it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? What? The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Oh, they showed up fast. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe, what an odd name. Says the man named Phoenix. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that murder. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, great. Uh, wait, there's something else. Whoa! Excuse me! This word my here mean anything to you? That, that, yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that, that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. The killer? I'm not- Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? This is not the first time this happens. Mia's just younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were happy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center, visitor's room. Day 2. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a... Cr oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. You look so tired. Oh, uh, are, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I'll be. A cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? Uh, d d d d what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No. No, 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 I can't. Believe me, even you will. I've done it. Did I look good? No, 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 I never thought. It's, it's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I, I was telling her to phone the other day. Two different juniors partners for- 
Oh god, I gotta do her voice. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so, so he crashed and burned. He's a genius. One of those strike fear to the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know where to go to if I ever get in trouble. I don't know, Ma. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. How ominous. That's what she said. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to insult you. No, no, that's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I just can't sit by and watch what I think of the person who did this. Yeah, I know. There's something I've been on here, I guess. What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you can say. A acolytes, like people in religious training. Is, what is that? Oh, uh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. I in training. I guess that's normal, though. I guess we'll see that in <laughs> Season 3! A uh, spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that's whole thing. Yeah, so you're an acolyte, er, medium in training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, are, have always been very sensitive to spirit. I'm like, yes, that's what Fey means. Wait a second, you said the Fey family. So Mia was into the stuff too. Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, uh, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait! What? So, you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me spirit then we just ask her to kill her? I, I'm sorry, I, I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm, I thought that would be too easy. Alright. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see, uh, the morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shape, the, like the thinker. The one layering head. How could that have been evidence in the case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yeah, I, I am pretty sure the conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it! Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Your cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that the detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Jumpstore, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Uh, my ass memo. Um, huh, something the matter? Um, I was wondering, can I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My, I need voices. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. Uh, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure, why not? Ah, uh, so I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. D say, what about your parents? I uh, I see. Don't don't worry, leave with me. Thank you. The trial tomorrow at ten. Wait, what? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. It's better hurt. Right, I'll be back. Alright, to this new place that will never become story relevant to Dress Bird Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're famous for night first morning. Okay, hang on. No, what I think we have to do is go back to Faye and Kill Off. This is Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespass. Oh, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're the butts guy, aren't you? No, no Phoenix, right? Ah, get. Sorry about the. I got the wrong name. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He he was pre uh, right, and, and you were Detective Swainshu, Detective Gumshoe, uh, Detective Gumshoe, what? Detective Gumshoe, right? At your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe, your pal. Anyway, get to the name, right? And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. B be right there. 
Uh, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. I uh, about my Yeah? I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal. But this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? See, me as a person, me recording this, I do. Phoenix as a character remembers him for six months. No. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. That's not the most extreme. Wait till the next game. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who will do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of black black alley deals of Fort Seven. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with almost a passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. About Miss Fate, you have an autopsy. You want another result, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special team. All right, all right, you can have a serious part. That's all. Present this. I was wondering, do you ever see Miss Maya face self? Oh, that I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh. He's on to me. Tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, is something the matter? Oh, no, 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 it's just, you know, detect, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend. A cell phone holds all the sweet spicy uh, you, you try to confuse me, sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, you can have the phone back. There are not any suspicious call records in there, after all. No, it's a recorded conversation. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. This has actual questions on YouTube. You all done, pal? Uh, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. I completely, I completely forgot about her. The, the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Aha! Uh -huh. You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside of her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across with... Uh, I forgot. I missed it. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Back. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna go to the Gatewater Hotel. Well, hello there, handsome... But uh, hi. You're the you're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, "Don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal." I'm in herself. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Jeez, this is all like something out of a movie. Capcom, uh, why would you write that? It's also funny. I can hardly think of the food. Let me go brush up. I can look at the part of the beautiful ivory. Spoiler alert, she's innocent. I pity the lawyer and ask the crowd to in this one. Examine! What's this? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's so sick of it. Hey! What are you doing? Not much! Oh, bad boy, you really should try out in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset with you. Upset? I thought you should be in a closet. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Do you think you could tell me something? I need to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe, incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movie. I like a bat with a big vocabulary. This is relating to a previous line. Cogniferous or something like that. We'll see him again. Uh, uh, er, you know that thing that occur uh, happened the other day? That bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty deep. Let me see. Uh, what? Dream on! Did you want to know? Don't you have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lord. Uh, could you? Just 
Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Noy, are you hitting on me? No, hey, I'm just doing my job here. Alright, can you just tell me what you, what you do? Well, no! Gee, I do have a little hopes up in you. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing power of all You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. Oh, oh no, not me. I'm uh, I'm just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Fish Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Mm, this guy doesn't like going to the mm. uh. Well, I guess we're going to go to Grossberg. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg. Uh, well, maybe we should do <laughs> that was the most over-the-top thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that would be me. Look. Mm -hmm. That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. P please proceed. Not bi hmm? Is something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvel Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Only with that. Uh, wait, you see, it's about my, my affair. Ah, oh, yes, my affair, go on. Why is surgery? I just, I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go take a case on a day's notice. There, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for you to represent here. Sorry, end of discussion. That's quite the painting. Aha! Uh -huh, you notice? It's my pride to impressive as it. Wait, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of straw. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying! How did you know my near fate? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. She learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A, a mission. You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a buddy. She never looked back at one. How could you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm. Oh, wait, you see, it's I'm busy, but the client is being persistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trust you. She knew your sister would be good. Yes, yes, of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll, I'll go look elsewhere. Did not, huh? Say something? I think not, I said. What, what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer was I will take on this particular case. I'm terribly sorry, my boy. But Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss. What's going on? Let's see if we could go re- Okay. Hi. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Uh, well, oh, I tell her. Well, you see, to be honest, I, I really don't think you should use it. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. But what really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Mm. I see. I've been abandoned then. Talk. Can you tell me? I'm sorry, I, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. Mm. Okay. I got used to it. Let's see, that morning I got from my sister and me all on. So sleepy toy. Around nine. The lights were all off and I could smell blood. But then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. What, what about you? What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't. I live in my family at the news for generations. I see a lot of spirits of family. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Really? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister and dad, she would become a lawyer. She left them out. So, you live by yourself. Yes, I got you. <laughs> oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. So, who was this man who ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case that made quite a stir. Everyone thought about her. Police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. 
Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Well, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <sighs> the police caught the case with the medium had followed being carried out in secret, of course, but the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers and my mother was quite amused and about it. She, my mother became the last of her race. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointment lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Where's the Oh, the Fed, Maya. Boy, I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well. First place to turn the floor down, but no one Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. One last question. You are in right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just called to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe I guess this may is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've never done anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah, wait. No, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come around a bit? Wait, wait. now if I can't skip around. Oh, I almost forgot. Ah! If you came back here, my eyes you inform me that Miss has a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phone. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the Examine. There's a screwdriver sticking out, out of the half of the house. was inside. What do we have here? A wiretap. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap badge for the court record. There is definitely something suspicious about this, this man. Never she has something like this around There's a story behind it. Alright, I'll be using the best. Okay, I'll get that one. But you know what I mean. Oh, belly boy, it's so bad. Uh oh, time to scram. Let's go. Quick. To be continued. I don't know if to end, to end this video here to beef up the running time. Or. You know what, I'll end this video here and record the rest of the trial as, for the, record the rest of the trial as separate videos and upload them throughout the week. So, this is goodbye for now. Episode, okay, episode 2, part 2 will be coming up shortly.